Hey everyone. So today's video is going to be, um, first let me explain where I am. Um, I'm totally in my closet and I'm not one of those people that does videos from their closet. So this is just like impromptu quick place because um, the rest of like the area out there, the lighting was all weird. So it totally either washed me out or made it too bright or too dark or whatever. So we're working with the closet today. Anyways, um, so today's video is going to be um, talking about my favorite acne product. So um, let me just kind of give you guys a background. So I've struggled with acne probably um, my entire life. So probably since I was a teenager. Um, I'm 25 now and I still get pimples. Um, I still get acne. And mine's kind of um, due to my hormones. But that's kind of another story. Anyway, I just kind of want to tell you guys about this awesome product that my dermatologist actually recommended me. Um, it is a face wash and it's non prescription, so you can get this over the counter. Um, and it's called it's called um, Panoxyl, and it has 10% um, benzyl peroxide and it's um, a therapeutic blah, 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 therapeutic acne control. So um, what the back or what the instructions say to do is to lather your face and just kind of wash for two minutes. Um, I personally am pretty impatient so the way that I do it and it works for me is when I'm in the shower I wet my face, I put the stuff on, I lather, lather, lather for about maybe 30 or 45 seconds. After that I leave it on my face and then shave my legs or do whatever else and then wash it off. Now, you probably need to leave it on for, um, I would say, maybe three or four minutes. Anytime after that, your skin will kind of tell you to wash it off. So it'll kind of become tight and maybe start to sting a little bit. So <laughs> it's not it's not like super um, painful or anything like that. Nothing to, you know, make you stop using the product. But um, I wash it off after that and... Um, it's done after that. But what it does for me at least is if I have like a really bad breakout and I use it, um, the breakout usually goes away into like one to two days. So what it does is kind of like dries out the pimples. Um, it does have 10% benzoyl peroxide. So that is pretty strong. Um, some people's skin may not be able to tolerate it so well. So it may dry out your skin. When I first started using it, I've been using it for probably about a year now. Uh, when I started using it, it dried out my skin like a lot to where I had to go in like several days between using it. But um, as I used it more and more, my skin got used to it. So um, I would suggest maybe starting off using it once a day to see how it goes. If your skin is super dry, I would do every other day. And then you can kind of work your way up. Um, with, yeah, probably already said that. With a breakout, um, it probably works for me maybe like, Okay, it usually takes um, maybe one to two days to clear up a breakout if I do have one when using this stuff. Now, um, it also works like if you have breakouts on your back or on your chest or on your arms, you can do the same thing. So um, you can, you know, when you're in the shower or whatever, like massage wherever you have a breakout, like her back or whatever, put it on there, leave it on there for like three to four minutes and you can wash it off. I've found that it works just as well on face and then like other parts of the body as well. Um, the other thing is that it is, um, it was kind of difficult for me to find. Um, they don't, I don't believe they carry it at Walmart or Target. I found mine at CVS and it is a little bit more pricey than the products that I, you know, the regular face washes, face washes they sell at CVS. Um, so it is, I paid about maybe 10 or $11 for it, but um, it to it's totally worth it. It lasts me probably um, three or four months, four or five months maybe. Um, I don't quite remember, but I think it's totally worth it if you have pretty much tried everything for acne. Um, I would suggest giving this a try. Um, and then a quick other thing I want to slip in. <laughs> this has nothing to do with um, acne washes or anything, but I'm completely obsessed with cats. 
and there's this seller on eBay and there's, I'm no, I'm not like promoting this person or anything, but I think the store has like really cute stuff. So they have little, um, new year's calendars since it was almost the new year. So this one has, this one's 2013 and it has a little cat on it. And throughout the entire thing, it has like every page has a different freaking cat on it. Look at this one jumping on the trampoline. Oh my God. Dead. Um, this one's already been written in because this one is mine from last year. Um, I totally have to have like these little agenda things with me at all times to put down like doctor's appointments, like school stuff, whatever plans. Um, otherwise I will, um, I will miss everything. But this is the one that I got for 2014. And what I do is it didn't come black like this. I kind of got this sheet of black paper stuff from um, Michaels, MJ Designs, whatever. And I stuck it in here, like slipped it in here instead of the cat cover. So it won't be as embarrassing when people see me like whip this out in public. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this one is um, it's completely blank since it's 2014. Oh my God, look at this cat. It's freaking sunbathing. What else do we have? Oh, oh, oh. Look at this sleepy one. Okay, um, enough craziness. Um, if you're interested in the um, in the eBay seller stuff, um, I think these go for the little planners go for like um, maybe twelve, thirteen dollars, and I will link you um, both to the face wash, which is the main thing, and then um, the little calendars as well. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hopefully next time it won't be in a closet. Bye.